Hey guys, thank you for watching. For this video, I'm gonna open, do like an unboxing of a meat cutter that I bought on Amazon. Since I'm on the keto diet, uh, we do a lot of uh, yakiniku, which is like the Korean style uh, meat, and then also a lot of the nabe or the hot plate. And so we uh, we buy a lot of thin cut meats. So I decided maybe if I buy this and buy the frozen meat, which is cheaper, uh, then it might. It might be a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and uh, this is gonna be probably a longer video because I wanna open this up, take it out, and then uh, I bought some meat today. Hold on. I bought some meat today so that I can test it out and then I wanna do a review on the same video. I don't wanna drag it out for a couple of videos. So uh, so this is just gonna be day one of, uh, of this, this machine right here. Okay, so it's a chef's choice. It was about a hundred bucks. They have a cheaper one for fifty bucks, but I wasn't sure what size it was gonna come. Uh, so I decided to get the little bigger one. Plus, it had a better reviews. Uh, it just seemed overall better. Uh, and so I'm gonna open this up. Noise, noise. Is that good? Just like Christmas. Pretty big actually. I thought it was bigger than I, than I thought it was going to be, which is good, I guess, for big cuts of meat. Estoy hablando por el video, okay? Alright, so it comes with the blade installed already. You gotta be careful I'm not to cut myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. It looks like it's already pre-assembled. So it's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. The knob for adjustments are down here in the back. And so it goes from play release C instructions. It goes from zero to about 20. Uh, I don't know what the measurement is. I don't know if it's maybe centimeters, millimeters. I'm not sure. Okay, so 10 looks like about an inch, so... This is the Okay, so it looks good, looks solid. This is plastic. Uh, it's supposed to be aluminum, and it sounds like aluminum. Our arm button's here. And so... Uh, thanks, thanks, man. No hagan ruido, no hagan ruido. Okay, I got the instructions. I got some kind of a, oh, okay, it comes with a fuse. And some more chef cho Chef's Choice uh, accessories. I'm assuming you put this in the back and it'll catch, yeah, right there. So it'll catch the meat right there. All right, so let's test it out. So it looks like a release buttons right here for the slide. So if I unlock it, it comes off. Once I put it in, I lock it and it'll stay. So it won't come off. Uh, I bought some uh, reduced price uh, pork chops. Uh, they're not the best option. I'd rather have a uh, pork belly, but they didn't have any. So I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to test it out with this. It's still a little too hard. So I think maybe I'll, I'll um, hit it with some hot water, let it kind of... Uh, get the edges uh, a little bit warm and then I'll cut it from there. So I want to see how strong it is.
Okay, I got three sauces for the yakiniku. I got some spicy Louisiana uh, sauces, sauce. I got some garlic sauce with the vinegar in the side. I got some olive oil with uh, salt and pepper. And I'm about to grind because I don't want to wait for them. All right, so I just did two loads of uh, meat, one of beef and one of pork. Uh, so I'm going to take it apart and show you guys how uh, fast I can do it. Uh, not fast, how easy I can do it. And then uh, I did find when I was cutting the meat, it, was, it wasn't cut evenly. So I had to almost like hit it every time to reset it so it goes flat. And then that made the slices a little bit more even. So this one just comes off like this. This one uh, gets unlocked from right here. Comes off. And then in the back right here, should I plug it first? In the back right here, there's uh, this is the measurements right here. And so if I go all the way to where it locks, I can pull it off. So that comes off. And then with the quarter, and being careful, I just put the put the quarter right here in the in the slot. Rotate it. So it comes off. This comes off, and then I can clean that. And that's it. And I guess I can just kind of go with a rag or something. All right, guys. I've had the meat slicer for about three months now and I've used it a ton. So I've used it for yakiniku a bunch of times and I've also used it for uh, nabe or the hot pot. Uh, and it's saving me tons of money. Uh, one, I'm not really buying expensive meats. Uh, pork belly, I buy by bulk. So I buy like a really big 15 pound chunk of, uh, of uh, pork belly. And then I just cut it in smaller squares and I freeze it. Uh, that's probably the most uh, expensive meat that I buy. It's about $3.50 a pound. Uh, but I get about seven or eight cubes of pork belly. And so when we do uh, when we do yakiniku and invite friends, we probably use about those uh, two of those cubes. As far as beef, I normally buy just the cheapest beef that I can find. Uh, normally it's already been discounted and frozen uh, so I, because I have to freeze it anyways to cut it and it's just convenient to, to do it that way I save money and then I also uh, save a step of not having to you know individually pack it uh, so I've done that a bunch of times already I haven't really done the math on how much money we're saving by using this meat slicer uh, but just off memory I can kind of uh, uh, guesstimate that we were probably spending about a, a hundred to 150 dollars anytime we had yakiniku with our friends uh, and from that to now buying cheaper uh, meats and uh, and uh, cheaper vegetables um, we're probably spending 10 15 dollars uh, which is pretty crazy um, so that's helping out a lot as far as the budget is concerned, as far as the diet is concerned. Uh, I don't know if you can tell off the video, but it's been three months since I shot this, this last part. And you can already see that my face is a lot thinner. Uh, I've been constantly losing weight, even though I've been eating pretty much whenever I want, as much as I want. Um, and so, yeah, highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also going to put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the the next one. Bye.